Hey guys, it's Luke Jones with Indie Windows. Today we're going to be taking a look at App Switch. It's an app for the Windows Phone, which allows you to find applications um, that are comparable to applications that you may have used on iOS or Android. Um, it's pretty helpful, especially if you're new to Windows Phone. And um, let's go ahead and just take a look at it right now. The first page is um, the features page, and really it doesn't do any comparisons here. This is just featured applications that um, they think you might like that are pretty popular on uh, Windows Phone. If we scroll over, you'll see the latest um, pair, uh, pairings that have been done. So one of the things about App Switch is all of the data is compiled by the users. So users find applications on Windows Phone that they think fit apps on other devices. So you can see here um, they found an application that they think matches with an app that was on iOS. Now users also vote on whether or not they not whether or not they think that these were good apps to um, replace those ones or not. So if you see here, Photo Room was suggested as a replacement for Instagram. So, and it's got one like, which says that obviously somebody thinks that that was a good, um, good idea. If you look over here, here's the popular ones. So these are popular. They've had a lot of likes. So these were good matches according to users of Windows Phone. So obviously SkyMap Free is a good replacement for Apple iOS's uh, The Night Sky. And uh, Bing Translator is a good replacement for iTranslate. And MetroTube is a good replacement for YouTube. What I found kind of interesting is that for a lot of these applications, uh, Windows Phone actually has a a first party, I guess you would say, um, alternative. So for YouTube, Windows Phone has a YouTube app. The YouTube app for Windows Phone is not very good because basically all it does is just launch the mobile browser version of YouTube. We have a third party app called MetroTube, which is very, very good. And so that one has actually become the recommended replacement for the Apple iOS YouTube as opposed to the official YouTube app on Windows Phone. I found that to be kind of interesting. Um, well, not actually that interesting because it makes sense, but it's kind of cool that um, the third party version has been voted higher than the official version. So, and that's actually the top rated um, replacement there. So, to use App Switch, so say you want to find a application that you're using on Apple iOS. So let's go ahead and go in. And for this example, let's go ahead and try to find a application for Pocket, which I know um, there isn't an application on Windows Phone for that. So if we do a search for Pocket, now what we're doing is we're searching for an iOS application right now. So we're trying to find the iOS application that we want to find a equivalent for. Might be a little confusing. So let's go ahead and scroll. I don't think we passed it. And here we go, Pocket. So we couldn't find any suitable replacements for Pocket. Now I knew that there wasn't one on here because I'd kind of gone through this before. But what we can do is we can I can show you how you would add one if you know of a good replacement for that, which I do. So go ahead and hit the plus button and we're going to suggest a, a application that would be a suitable replacement for Pocket on the Windows Phone. And I've used this application and I really like it called Metro Paper. Now it's more of a Pocket Reader. I haven't really found where you can actually add things to your Pocket, but um, this is a really good pocket reader. So if you're doing a lot of pocket saves on like a um, on your computer or 
or other device, um, this will let you see all of those um, saves that you've done. So this is so you can add more than one. So right here it's saying these are your matches. Um, if we wanted to add another one, we would just go back and um, we could add the uh, well there's a, this is another thing that's kind of interesting. There's a free version of Metro Paper and there's a paid version of Metro Paper. App Switch doesn't really tell you which one is which here. It just shows two versions of Metro Paper. It doesn't say this is the free one. It doesn't say this is the paid one. So you can add both of them. So we can go ahead and click the other one. So we're suggesting both versions. We just don't know which one we're doing. So that's kind of interesting. So if there was things about the free one that you didn't like and probably didn't want to suggest that one, you wouldn't really know which one you're suggesting. I don't know if it does the free one first or the paid one first or how it does that. So that's kind of an interesting little thing about the application that maybe they can fix in the future and actually let you know which version is which. But for now, you just kind of either have to do both of them or guess. So now we'll go ahead and, and submit those as replacements. Now you don't get any notification. That was another, that's another little quirky thing. You don't get any sort of successfully sent or waiting review or anything that sort of lets you know that it's processed what you've just done. And it seems to take a while for them to take effect because I've actually done this before. And if you go back into pocket, it still says that there isn't one. So I don't know what the process is once you've submitted it before they actually show up, but it seems to take a bit of time. It's not an instant thing. Let's go ahead and find one that I know um, there is one to find. So let's go ahead and look at Temple Run. So we've got Temple Run, Temple Run 2. We'll just go ahead and look at the first one, Temple Run. And the replacement that it suggests is Castle Run. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're taken to a detail screen for Castle Run. So you can see what the marketplace rating is. Not very high. Um, you can see the price. There is a trial available some features. This is sort of the description from the Windows Phone Marketplace. We can go over and uh, browse screenshots for Castle Run. Seems to be having trouble loading those. Um, presumably you would get a, a bigger version. Let's go ahead and go over. You can see reviews those aren't loading up either and you can see similar um, I'm guessing if there was there was there if there were similar applications that it would show those the ones that are on the Windows Phone marketplace anyway also from here we can make it a uh, suggest that it's a good match or say that it was a bad match and then you can also buy or try the application now it doesn't actually, at least in my experience, it doesn't actually start the download. It just takes you to the details page on the marketplace. So I don't know why you would need a buy or a try button because once you get here, you can click buy and there actually isn't a trial version that I can see. I don't, oh, I might have the trial version already installed. So that might be why it's not showing up, but it doesn't actually initiate the process of downloading. So really all you would need is a link to marketplace button because it doesn't make any difference which one you click it's just going to take you to the details page so you can also add it to your favorites so if this is one of your favorite apps you can add it to your favorites I would just download it and it would be on my phone so I don't know why I would need to add it to my favorites but you can do that so there are a few just visual little things with this application that I'm not quite sure um, why they were done this way. Um, one of the things is that when you're scrolling through, it seems to stop in weird places. 
So if we scroll, it stops in a halfway spot. I don't know why it does that. I would think it would go to the next section every time, but it seems to like to pause at like these little areas. I think it might have been like a indentation because as you can see, these aren't lined up with the top. So the icons are not indented the same as the titles. So I don't know, it doesn't always do it, but every once in a while it just pauses there, which is kind of interesting. From this screen, let's go ahead and go into the settings screen, see what settings there are. So you can set it to show iOS matches, show Android matches, show introduction. So when you open the app, you get a little introduction about what the app's all about. I've already opened it, so we didn't see that, but you can turn that on or off. Get an about screen where you get um, developer information, is the email, Twitter account, website, and a little thing where you can tap to review. It's just, hmm, it just sent my phone into a vibration that isn't coming off, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that button because that seems to clear it. Let's go ahead and tap review again. not coming up so I, it might be a problem with my internet that may have something to do with the screenshots so um, as well so you may want not want to hold that against them one thing I thought that was kind of cool is you can view the change log so all of the changes that have been made to this application you can view them right here it's gone through quite a few changes and that shows to me that I can put up with some of these little quirky things about it because I have pretty good assurance that since it's being updated fairly regularly that those will probably get taken care of in time so I wouldn't really hold um, those little things against this application it's still pretty useful especially for somebody um, who is coming from one of these other systems to the Windows Phone because I get that question a lot like well do you have this app or you know which app do I use for this on Windows Phone so it's uh, a pretty common problem you can also browse through them um, in kind of a, just if you're shopping around kind of way. I don't know if you saw that, but if you click on see more, so these are the latest ones, you can say see more. It'll be more of the latest. You can do it that way. You can also look by category. So you can say, you know, look at all the games. And it'll sort them so that you only see games. If you want to see photo apps. You can see the photo apps. One other thing that was kind of interesting is why they didn't, I don't know why they didn't put the category button on this screen so that I can go straight to the categories from here. So you have to know to click on this see more down here to know that there is this category, which I thought was actually a pretty useful thing because you may just want to be in here and saying, well, what are the coolest weather apps? On Windows Phone you know I'm coming from iOS or Android I want to know which are the apps to have on Windows Phone and so I thought that might have been a good feature to have maybe down here in the toolbar button on the front screen and not just hidden away um, in that little um, other page I'm pretty I think that might be about it so um Obviously, you can also do it for Google Android. You can also search the Windows Phone Marketplace, which I wasn't, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I guess if you just want to search through it, um, I guess you can do that. It's not going to give you, I don't know, does it give you comparisons? That would be interesting. Let's see. Um, search for Metro TV. Good Lord. Yeah, so you can just search for apps um, on that screen as well. It doesn't do comparisons. It wouldn't make much sense to do comparisons. but So you can do that. So that's App Switch. There is a version for the Surface or Windows 8. And we'll go ahead and do a review of that um, coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, until then, uh, I'll see you guys later.